The Battle of Waterloo was a decisive battle of the Napoleonic Wars that took place on June 18, 1815, near Waterloo in Belgium. It was fought between the French army under Napoleon Bonaparte and the Allied armies of the Seventh Coalition, led by the Duke of Wellington of the United Kingdom and Gebhard Leberecht von Blücher of Prussia. The battle was the culmination of the Hundred Days Campaign, a period of renewed French aggression that began when Napoleon escaped from exile on Elba. The French army was outnumbered by the Allied forces, but it was still a formidable opponent. Napoleon had a reputation for strategic brilliance, and his troops were well-trained and motivated. The Allies, on the other hand, were a diverse group of soldiers from different countries, with different languages and cultures. They were led by two experienced commanders, but they had never fought together before. The battle began at around 11.30 a.m. with a French attack on the Allied lines at Hougoumont. The attack was initially successful, but the Allies eventually repelled the French. Napoleon then launched a series of attacks against the Allied center, led by Wellington's British troops. The fighting was fierce, and both sides suffered heavy casualties. In the late afternoon, the Prussian army arrived on the battlefield and attacked the French flank. This attack proved decisive, and the French were forced to retreat. The battle ended around 8 p.m., with the French army in full retreat. The Battle of Waterloo was a major victory for the Allies and a decisive defeat for Napoleon. It marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the restoration of the Bourbon monarchy in France. The Battle of Waterloo was a major victory for the Allies and a decisive defeat for Napoleon. It marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the restoration of the Bourbon monarchy in France. The battle had a profound impact on European history. It helped to establish the balance of power in Europe for the next century. It also helped to spread the ideals of democracy and freedom, which Napoleon had once championed.